everybody. So on behalf of St. Saviour's, welcome to the parish hall. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Gary Burgess. I'm from ITV Channel Television, and, and I'm your, your chair, your host for this evening to guide you through the first public debate on the Jersey referendum. Jersey, hopefully, in at least some of us, going to the polls on Wednesday, the 24th of April. The date is getting closer. A whole series of meetings are planned around the island between now and then. Just to introduce my panel, representing option A, we have Sam Mezek. Representing oh, and a whoop as well. I mean, that's the first. <laughs> and, and I do expect the mortars of other options and the other sides to whoop accordingly, just out of generosity at this stage. <laughs> uh, representing option B, we have Ben Shenton. <laughs> and, uh, and representing option C, we have Linda Vaughan. If we can keep at least 75% of that level of enthusiasm tonight, then it will have been worth missing EastEnders and the football course. So, thank you very much for being here. Just to guide you through the plan of action, I'm Who has a, an interest in the proceedings, a special interest. What's your name? Please? My name's Philippa. And you, you came here as a personal interest, or is it a. Uh, I came here to support my dad, Lyndon, who's a sporting option C. Uh, but I was also interested in um, learning a bit about it. I've been away at universities, so haven't, apart from social media, I haven't heard a huge amount about it. So, um, yeah, it's interesting to read the leaflets, see it, the basics, and read a little bit more into it. This process of discussion, do you think it leads anywhere, these sort of interactions? They did a little test at the end, how many people have changed their mind? Not many. Um, yeah, it seemed a lot of people had their minds set when they came here. They just, I think, come for the banter mainly, but what's the harm in that? What's it like being in the family of a politician in Jersey? Um, it's interesting. I tend to stay in the loop a lot more than I think other people my age would do, so um, yeah, so I think it's good and keep up to date and hear what's been going on in the States. How long have you got to go at university? Uh, one more year one after more this. Year. So. you come back to Jersey then? Uh, yeah, definitely. Interested in going into politics? Uh, after seeing what they go through tonight, I'm not sure. Maybe. I'll keep my interest, but possibly just a hobby. Okay, thanks for that. Thank you. And what's your name? Alex Andrews. You asked the question, did you get a satisfactory answer? Um, not, in, not particularly, no. Um, I asked my question based on uh, something which um, one of the representatives had said earlier on, um, which was um, that Lyndon Farnham had said um, that he wanted to add more reforms after the election. I asked the question, what kind of reforms? And he gave me a very quick, short answer, which didn't really explain. What's your gut feeling about that? Do you think... Uh, we shall be here 12 months' time discussing the same things? Um, I think that um, it would be a considerable waste of time and money if we have to do it all again. Um, it would be a lot better if it can get sorted out in one go. Um, You're a young person. Do you see faults in the system? I see massive faults in the system. Um, there are massive faults in the education system, which is why there's a lot of, um, which is why there's less and less young people getting involved in such events. That was one of the messages tonight that so few people are interested in politics. Yeah, definitely. Can it be taught? Is it something that could be? Taught? There is something that could definitely easily be taught. We have a lesson called PH, uh, PSE, which is Personal Social Education. It could definitely be brought up in that. It's a lesson which happens one hour a week for the years that are in year nine, eight, uh, year seven, eight, nine, and occasionally when you're in year ten. There are a few younger people here tonight. Is it? Um, a growing interest or a diminishing interest? Um, no, we've been in, um, interested in it for a long time um, and we just want to be able to see something done about it and we feel as though sitting around doing nothing uh, doesn't do anything so coming out and being vocal about it does actually get things done. Do you have similar meetings this at uh, college or school? Um, kind of, yes, we do, a little bit, yeah. So this, this evening's meeting you're quite pleased with on the whole as a discussion? Um, as a discussion... Um, I'm kind of iffy a bit about it because um, there have been good points made, there have been a lot of the same points just re-generated um, um, but said in different words. So um, I'll be more interested in seeing a different, a different uh, debate um, and then I'll be able to make a decision on whether it's... Will you follow it around good. the other meetings? Uh, yes, I definitely will. I'll be definitely going to the Communicare one and definitely for the one for my parish, which is St. Helier. Nice to speak to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.